My bones. My bones. Welcome back to Sucker for Love. Oh no! F2. Oh, it said one of three. I'm an idiot. Sorry. The King in Yellow Approaches, Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Oh, sorry. You remind me of a character from, um, or on High, Host Club. Well, terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the sky may be the most prophetic phenomenon of... of do. Sorry. For whatever the lurid, golden light of the planet... Oh, Carcosa shines the longest. Where have I heard that from? Okay. The longest wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind the mask lies echoes of dis dissidence and disorder, masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of God King's court, the favoured victims of the king's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Huh? Whoa! That's either the sun or that is the moon. That is really close. Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn, I'm ha having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I was supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I am standing outside, after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Sun is setting, so it's probably around 7pm, which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the extra, uh, the excuse I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sun down. That's why I'm... Six hours early for my shift? That sounded like the church's noontime bell. It's high moon? No way, they must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's golden hour right before sunset. That's what I'm saying, man. That's not right. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If it's not too late, and I really hoof it, I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Hello? Oh my god. They've come to change my heart. <laughs> Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. Hey man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would ya? Hello? Hey, uh... Hey! Is this guy ignoring me? Normally I'd say whatever and walk past, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway off this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him, but this guy is giving me such weird vibes, I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. That odd posture, he's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The color of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotches of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the third floor, and I thought I'd met all of my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choices are to go inside and call the police, or to walk past the freaky guy. I don't have time to wait around for when the cops show up. So I'll... Just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. Ah, it's Lynetta's book! Lynetta! But I died! The world ended. Oh shit, there's more. The shop freezes me in place, and because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice them. <sighs> Fuck me. I duck inside the room, slamming the door in the suspicious man's face. Fumbling with the locks in panic, I managed to turn the, the deadbolt. Nah. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my beating chest. I died, I definitely died when I performed the final ritual. So, why am I still here? Where is he? 
Locked in my room, I have nowhere to run. There, hello. Things have changed. Lynetta? Lynetta! If Lynetta was here, she could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, huh? Who is this Lynetta you are trying to call? How the f you get in here? Missy, what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. Where did you even come from? How did you even get in here? Your window is open. I am on the third floor, Missy. No, no, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor. So, how did you... Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? Yes. That is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Yeah. What is her deal? I know she'd be pissed I slammed the door in her face, but not so much so that she wouldn't notice anything obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or that my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. Nah, shit. You know what this is, don't Ah. Yeah. It's a golden version of my book. The book is used to reform rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more innate than mine. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. This guy that's a suspicious man outside, they all match Missy's book. Is she making all this happen? Oh god, when I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just going to show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Hi. Holding an Eldritch magic book. <laughs> oh, that's so anime. Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? Yes. I know all too well, but I also know that these incan incantations, sorry, take at least five seconds to pronounce, and that's if she gets it right first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her. <laughs> ah, stab her to death. Before some, she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather demanding. Sure, whatever. Name your price. Oh, In that case, I have three commands. Not a f***ing Number one, you'll address me as your highness from now on. Uh, Home? Home? No, 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 no. This is my home and Lynetta's home. In fact, I was going to move to her dimension with her. Dad, I don't want, I don't want you here. <laughs> I want to leave. When she comes home, she wants to move in. But that means, whatever, it's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on this. At least one of us is about to die. <laughs> I'm, I am so f twisted now. My beautiful Cthulhu girlfriend has vanished, and now this chick breaks into my house and wants to move in. As you wish, your highness. Was What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. How am I supposed to pay rent? How am I supposed to pay rent then? Sure, whatever. Just a little bit until I'm sprinting. I'm in sprinting range of the knife. And number three. You'll obey every order in room I have, absolutely, without question. No! Do you agree to my terms? Ab no! Absolutely. What? Absolutely, you're a highness. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. The voice sounds familiar, but I'm having uh, trouble placing it. Oh, what, I get the book? She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. 
Is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I'd like to for a long time. And you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome is a goat. There's no reason we can't simply work together. For what goal? After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Uh, true. Very, very true. Right. We narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended under Lynetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories, dress like that, and then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. Ah, oh, you're an eldritch horror. All right, your highness. I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> you're an eldritch horror. So you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. How did you figure that out so suddenly? Lynetta could do it too. Isn't it obvious? No human can can pronounce Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch long word. Why else would it be spelled like that? Ah, ah. I love that that's the thing that he thought of. <laughs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Blech. You should have tried using your Eldridge form instead. I would have fallen in love with you immediately. What? What? <laughs> what? Do you think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human? Okay, you didn't see Lynetta, but she's gorgeous. 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls and and <laughs> with non-Euclidean geometry are smoking. They're like curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> oh, you, you know what? I dig in the dress. I'm not gonna go over the whole, uh, wouldn't it be queen, because it'd be king, if you want. I mean, eldritch god. Call yourself what you want. You command him, you command him. Um, my second question is, um, you got a kid. I know you have a kid. You've been sacrificing babysitters to him. Uh, I, I know someone... Uh, that would probably be really pissed with you. Like, really pissed with you. Damn straight. Come and get your kid, I'm not babysitting anymore. She's gorgeous, a bona fide eldritch king in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching an eldritch horror are coming true, and eldritch royalty to boot. Ah, uh, Lynetta, the king in yellow, sounds familiar. I can't remember why, my memory of... My other existence is kind of fuzzy. Oh, okay, okay. We remember Lynetta, but we mustn't remember, like, being with her and dating her. Also, the king in yellow was a, um, I actually don't, I don't think it was actually done by H.P. Lovecraft, but the king in yellow was supposedly a play that drove the reader or the perform uh, performers insane. What I do remember is her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like Lynetta, sh kinda got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Oh, so I'm so just cheating back. Ah, wait, I'm sorry, I already, I'm already involved, okay, you told her. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. I am following Lynetta? In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Wealth, power, whatever that rotten witch Lynetta Hey! I can double it. Yeah. She promised me a switch. Then I shall... What, what, what? You handed over 
your reality to her? Singular spoot? Are you mad? Completely. You heard me. So you match her offer then. I... I suppose... If that's all you're selling the world for, then a... Smooch... Can be... A raise. No way. You promised to double it. That's two smooches. Two of them, on the lips. I mean, I don't write very well. Two smooches lift the lips. That is fine. Why did they, why do you guys always freak out? Your eldritch gods they just beat me to death. Uh, money might be cool. Not really fame. I don't know if I want the fame. I'm good here in my little pink apartment. Oh, but he's a... Oh, that's why you're blushing. She's blushing for real. You really want to me? Sure, I'll try anything once. I already entered the reality. Oh, sh**. Scenes. Yep. Man, I'm going mad. You mean this spell book that I was afraid of? It's just a damn play? This thing is a playbook? Where are all the powers invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? Oh, come on now. Of course you know rituals. No. Oh, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed. Oh, okay. If I have to remember anything, she's gonna kill me straight out. I'll never... I'll never get the smooches. I won't get the wealth. I'm adding that on, by the way. That's an amendment. Um... I imagine you live somewhere... Anyone play, um... Dark Deception? You know the Gold Watchers? Yeah, in that palace. That's where you live. Perfectly. I don't always get these rituals. Uh, I mean, scenes. Right, the first time. What happens if I botch my lines? Or a set of scene right? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosin Times publication. And you'll also be killed. Oh. No. I'm getting those smooches no matter what. Break a leg, dears. Oh! Um, Lanetta calls me darling. You call me dearest, and I'm wearing like a D necklace? Will I ever get my, uh... Ooh, wow. Okay. Uh, oh my god. I did that. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Um. Oh. Oh, that's actually, that's a sick design. Look at you. You like an octopus. Oh, it's very, it's very Ursula. It's very, I like it. I actually did, it's, it's really cool. Okay. Uh, host, okay. What? Oh! What did I do? I met Esther, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did it have instructions? I'll hold and drag slowly. Here, hun. Yeah, really not. So, um, she's gone. Oh, what the? F <gasps> what? Are you, like, invisible in the dark? What the f Okay. Hang on. Do, do I have... It says, view of the city. Do I actually have to be outside?
not out here, but... <gasps> Aha! Greetings, stranger. Fortuned fellow, tis the party of which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow, so come all ye in ye till. With thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost ye till. Hope for us there may be still. <gasps> Fuck me. <laughs> Attention quite unwholesome, you'll instill from the souls of poor you tell. Why attract so much ill will? Uh, 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 okay, it, it's highlighted in pink when it's done. Okay, cook okay. it. Um, this is my part. This is my part. This is just what I must seek, see, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis one invite I seek, he shall all mistake un mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow, whose great wealth I shall cure. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as he may save which shall this city and be smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. All be lost within a night, but your lord is worth that price. This is very cultured. I feel cultured. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, hang on. Okay. Um. <gasps> Fuck. No, go back, go back. I almost had it. I almost. Ah, no. Got it. Well, thank God. Wearing this expensive clothes, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing, all my friends whom strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness in the cause, they shall all be proud because I have brought the king to us. Oh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you are. Thank you. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did not Beth. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you perform Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. I only did in high school. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. I, I reckon it's going to be like I was in the background character or I was tree number three. I was tree number four. <laughs> I was tree number four. I wasn't aware that was a rule. It is. It's not. You weren't even the leading tree. No, I was number four. <laughs> Don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. Whoa, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. Okay, so it is. I can't see you in the dark. It has to be in the light of... So I'm guessing that's your planet. It's not the sun and it's not the moon. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a little Oh! I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. Yeah. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light. Oh! If anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. That's why. That's why she has a curfew. That's why. I literally can't see her at night. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She literally vanishes when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got into my room, my window may may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close the curtain. Oh, I was quite enjoying my time with Remember that. I needed to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is sweeter than such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, 
Oh, okay. Oh! That doesn't count as one of the two smooches. Oh, well, it looks like I have a hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment. So I have a moment. I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta? Or do I follow Esther this time? This is... Uh, she is offering twice as many smooches, after all. But I like Lynetta. I need to make a choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the cloud clouds clear and use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Jeez.